Hello and welcome to another update video about Doge. Uh, Doge has possibly started to turn around in this micro support area. It's a bit too early to confirm. I'd really like it to get above the uh, corrective price channel there. I mean, we can we can add a price channel here to the chart instead of just having a trend line, but it's, it's more like a channel here um, that the price is moving within. And we don't really need the lower trend line. The upper trend line is more important. I really needed to break above it uh, in order to be more confident that this C wave to the upside has started. What we can then also do is based on the information we have, define really a target box for this move here to the upside in this C wave that we've been tracking of a larger fifth wave. Remember that there is one wave count in which I um, am tracking that this wave five is already unfolding. I give the bulls here the benefit of the doubt as long as relevant support levels are holding. But at the same time, I've been warning because um, the rally was only in three waves here into the May, um, early May high. So that A wave top, then we had a B wave pullback and another C wave up. So we have three waves up in the larger A wave then and another B wave pullback in three waves. But it's not the greatest setup or greatest pattern but can of course be used for trading especially given that we've pulled back not only into the upper micro support area but also the lower support area the main support area and we've had another reaction to it so we had a bit of a cluster of support there um, but yeah in this one wave count where wave five bottomed in this count we're now in a fifth wave to the upside and um we've already completed waves A and B and we're now just in the C wave. Now, based on that, I can add a target zone. We take the length of the A wave, we go to the low of the B wave. So, and then my target zone would start at 21 and a half cents, um, can easily go to 25. Normally we would say the C wave should reach the 100% extension, but that would not even go above the third wave top. So that's not really valid. Um, that's sort of how I see this at the moment. But as I said, it's a bit too early to confirm that the low is in. First of all, that rally is only again in three waves so far. And in addition to that, I needed to break above the descending trend line. That would be an early indication that a low is in place, followed by a break above the B wave high. I mean, that's important. That's an important swing high, normally an important level in Elliott wave where we say if we break above these B wave highs, that's an initial suggestion, um, or it's a further indication, I should say, that the next move to the upside is already unfolding. And then obviously the best confirmation will be a break above this A wave high at 17 and a half cents. What shouldn't happen now is a break below today's low. Um, what was it yesterday's low? Here, the last swing low at 13.3 cents then I think this would more look like a five wave move down and the chances are, and that's the second wave count, you could say at the moment the alternative, but in this scenario, I'd be tracking a still unfolding fourth wave. So of course, you know, if we take out the last low, then this would most likely lead to a break of the 13 cent level, which is the next micro support, but then it would be too low for the, cur for the yellow count I'm tracking. Yeah, normally we don't want a B wave to break below the 78.6 retracement, at least not on a sustained basis. And then it might be that we're just still working on a much wider wave four correction as already, um, yeah, as, as already mentioned. So that's really all there is. Obviously then in that case, the, that there could be some more support around 12.4 cents, maybe not exactly, but that's where we had previous support. And the 11 cent mark will be very important because that's really the last reliable support level for that larger fourth wave. You know, we're moving in a larger diagonal pattern here and the fourth wave can go down to the 61.8 retracement. It's not ideal if it goes down that much. Normally we want them to hold the 50% FIB level as well. That's why I'm tracking it as potentially complete. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Good upside today. So. Uh, let's see if the bulls can attack that trend line next. It, it looks like that at the moment and then a break above should send us to the next green lines here that I mentioned. That's my update about Doge. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.